Hey everybody, guess what? I saw Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Let's talk about it. Let me start off by saying that this movie was really good at the beginning. They started it off with Harrison Ford uh, looking just like he did in uh, the original three and it looked great. And you know, it had that feeling of indie when he was young and he was fighting, of course, the Nazis because that's out of the four movies that we have of Indiana Jones, he's fighting the Nazis. Um, but when we get past that part uh, into the actual bit of the movie, it, it gets a little slow. In fact, it's a, it's two and a half hours of, <laughs> of a buildup after the first bit, which is so good and you just kind of build it up and build it up and Harrison is supposed to be Indiana Jones at 70 at this point because it's 1969 and it, he just he seems to struggle a little but it I mean it's still it's it's much better than Crystal Skull was let me just tell you that the co-stars in here were really good uh, even Antonio Banderas I didn't even know he was in this movie and uh, we have uh, Noah uh, Hold on one second, I'll get his name right. Noah Holbrook, and you might know him from Logan or even The Sandman Show. And Matt, uh, I'm going to pronounce his name wrong, but I'm going to try it really good here. Matt Mickelson. I really, <laughs> I even looked it up and tried to figure it out how to say it. So he did really great as the villain. He's a really good villain, actually. I've seen him in a lot of stuff, and you would have seen him in Hannibal. What a great show that was. That deserved another season. Anyway, back to Indy. And I'm going to tell you, wait for it to come out on Disney+. Plus. Don't get me wrong, I loved seeing it. It was better than Crystal Skull, but that's not really saying a lot. Um, they should have left Indy alone, honestly. And the ending, I, I really thought it was going to end one way. And it went a different way, which is totally fine. I'm trying my best not to spoil it for And you. wait so until it comes on Disney+. Plus. You'll be much happier that way. And besides that, there's already tons of movies out. Just, just wait for it to come out. And I want you to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think. If you liked it better than Crystal Skull. If you liked it better than any other ones. I doubt you will, but let me know.